Hello and welcome to the book collection of 2017 and uh, over the past year I have been expanding the book collection with getting the Virgin Missing Adventures and the Past Doctor Adventures because the last time I did a book collection was back in 2014 so yeah quite a long time ago so it's safe to say the collection has expanded so that's enough of me talking and introducing it so let's get on to showing the book so without further ado let's begin Keeping off with the Virgin book, so we've got two Virgin Note Adventures. We've got a Long Barrow, which I famously got for 1p, um, which was an absolute bargain, one of my bargains of uh, 2016. Then we have the Dying Days, one of my most anticipated Virgin Note Adventures, because I love the Eighth Doctor and I love the Ice Warriors, so this sounds like a, a match made in heaven. Um, then moving on to the Missing Adventures, uh, we have Goth Opera, which I'm ex I love. I'm really excited to check it out because obviously the fifth doctor and vampires what a combination i do love the state of decay romantic crime i've listened to the adaption of this big finish did very good the ghosts of end space um i've listened to the soundtrack of it and i did enjoy it so it'll be interesting to compare the novelization to uh the soundtrack dancing the code that sounds like a very traditional third doctor story and one i'm interested in uh, menagerie system shock Managra, Lords of the Storm, and Eye of Giant. Then we have the Sands of Time, Killing Ground, which I'm really excited to read because of the side men are going to be badasses. Shadow Wang Chang, I cannot wait to read this because it's a fourth Doctor and Romana one, and I love the pairing of those two. And Shadow Wang Chang is an absolute classic story. Scales of Injustice, probably the next book I'm going to read because I love the Silurians and I love the Sea Devil, so this looks like a, an ultimate book. Then we have my first um, Virgin Missing Adventure, The Speed of Flight, The Plotters, and we have Cold Fusion, which I've listened to the adaption of and I really did enjoy it, so I look forward to giving that one a go, seeing which I prefer the audio or the uh, book. Device of Death. The Dark the Path, a book I'm kind of sceptical about because obviously it features the... I think this is meant to be like the origin of the Master and I feel like Roger Delgado is meant for Pertwee so it's going to be interesting to see him interact with Trout and so yeah I'm kind of sceptical about that. Well Mannered War, one of uh, uh, classic fourth Doctor book that is. And we have Who Killed Kennedy which is meant to be this Pertwee Bible, it's meant to fill in some of the sort of plot threads like how quick, how um, the Doctor got to Mars so quickly on the from Ambassadors of Death, so yeah, this is going to be very good. And uh, some interesting stuff happens to Dodo within this book, so uh, yeah. Then we have The Paradise of Death, which is a Target book, which is under the Virgin uh, Publishing. Right so then, there we go. Okay, on to the BBC books with the PDA. So we have The Devil Goblins from Neptune, The Ultimate Treasure. A Legal Alien, which I'm very excited to because Cybermen in World War II sounds brilliant. The Roundheads, Face of the Enemy, one of the books that interests me where the Brigadier and the Master have to work together. Eye of Heaven, Witch Hunters, a book I'm anticipating and I'm really looking forward to reading because it just sounds incredible. The Hollow Men sounds like a classic Seventh Doctor book. Catastrophe, I'm excited because I love Frontier in Space. The Doctor and Draconians, lovely. Mission Impractical, um, yeah this sounds like a fan pleasing book because it explains what happened to Dipper why he wasn't in Dragonfly and it features Frobisher so yeah excited to give that one a go at some point Zeta Major Last Man Running Matrix, a book what's interested me since like 2012 featuring uh, Jack the Ripper and the Seventh Doctor so I'm excited by that uh, in a weird way Infinity Doctors Salvation Wages of Sin, which again I'm really excited to because it's got Liz Shaw and Joe Grant, so it'll be interesting to see those two work together. Then we have Deep Blue, a um, fifth Doctor and unit, so that's going to be a cracker because as you know, Third Doctor is my favourite era. Players, Millennium Shock, which links with System Shock, the Virgin Missing Adventure, and Storm Harvest. City at World's End, basically the first Doctor in the Inferno scenario. Divided Loyalties, a book what's interested me for a long time and uh, yeah, maybe one of the worst PDAs but I'm quite excited to give it a go. Corpse Marker, 
Last of the Gardnerine, one of my favourite uh, past Doctor Adventure books I've read and probably my favourite third Doctor book. It's absolutely uh, incredible and I would like to review that in the future because it's just magnificent. I do have Tomb of Eldermar but uh, it's part of the fourth Doctor time capsule so I've got that sort of um, Invasion of Time motif cover on it. Uh, we've got Verdigris featuring the third Doctor and Iris World Time, Heart of uh, Tardis, Prime Time, Imperial Moon, King of Terror, Shadow in the Glass, and we have Asylum, which I'm again excited because it features uh, just after Terminus and it's uh, season 18 Tom Baker, so it sees those two reunite. So, yeah, sounds very not interesting book. Superior Beings, which I always thought was a sixth Doctor book, but it's fifth Doctor and Perry. Byzantium. Bullet Time, which is kind of a controversial book. Drift. Morality Tale, one of, meant to be one of the best underrated fur Doctor books, that is. Warmonger, that seems to have gone up in rarity as soon as that went um, on Doctor Who magazine, because um, it does feature uh, a classic monster. And apparently the fifth Doctor acted more like the sixth Doctor within this book, because I think it was a last minute decision to change it to the fifth Doctor. Heritage. Deadly Reunion, which um, I started reading, and I need to continue reading that, but I did enjoy it. Empire of Death, um, sounds very interesting, Fifth Doctor and Ghosts. Uh, the Indestructible Man. Then we have The Island of Death. Spiral Scratch, man, I mean the Sixth Doctor Regeneration in the BBC books. And Atom Bomb Blues to close the range, even though this wasn't meant to be the last one, but uh, yeah, Andrew Cartmel, meant to be quite a Underwhelming to the EDAs, that. I don't have many. Um, we have Vampire Science, which sounds incredible. Body Snatchers, Ape Doctor, and Lightfoot and the Zygons. And uh, yeah, sounds incredible again. War of the Daleks, I know JR can review this and going to be one of his favourite books. And uh, yeah, it's going to be quite an odd, uh, well, kind of mixed bag book that is. Alien Bodies, regarded as a fan favourite. Interference Book 1, Interference Book 2. And it's kind of obvious why I got those books, because it's the third Doctor and the Ape Doctor. Huzzah! Okay then, kicking off with the new series books, I'm going to show you the hardback um, versions first, and then I'll show you some of the paperbacks uh, I've got as well. So, starting off with the Clockwise Man, the monster inside my first ever Doctor Who book um, I got, the Deviant Strain, Only Human, the Stone Rose, Feast of a Drowned, the Resurrection Casket, and the Art of Destruction, which I started reading, and uh, yeah, got bored of it. The Last Dodo, Wishing Well, The Pirate Loop, Peacemaker, Snow Globe 7, The Many Hands, The Ghost of India. The Doctor Trap. Now, the thing with the Tenth Doctor books and the Ninth Doctor books is, I read these through primary school, so I've got vague memories of reading them. So I need to reread them at some point. The Story of Martha, Beautiful Chaos, The Eyeless. I read quite recently, and I really did enjoy that book. And we have the Krillotane Storm. Now onto the Eleventh Doctor books, which I've got such fond memories of reading um, at secondary school. Um, we've got Apollo uh, Twenty Three. Um, yeah, very good book. I did enjoy that one. Night of the Humans, probably the weakest of the three first Matt Smith books. Forgotten Army, just a lot of fun. I really did enjoy that one. The Dead of Winter, I found quite a creepy one. Uh, same with uh, Way Through the Woods, really did enjoy that one as well. Hunter's Moon, cannot remember anything about this one. Touched by an Angel, absolute classic, fantastic uh, book that is. Paradox Lost, um, yeah. Very good. And Borrowed Time. Plague of the Cybermen, one of my favourite books. I've got to say the, the next three Eleven Doctor books I'm just showing now from Series 7 are absolutely fantastic. These are some of the best Matt Smith books. Dalek Generation, fantastic book. Um, I've reviewed it back in 2014, I think. Um, I really did love it um, and I still love it now. Shroud of Sorrow, um, we've got some great callbacks throughout Doctor Who's history, so yeah, it's very cool. 
some 12th Doctor books now. We've got the Blood Cell. Um, that's very good because it's done in um, first person of the Governor, um, which is very cool. Um, Mike Tucker, The Crawling Terror. Um, I absolutely love this story, how it sort of does the what if, um, you know, on events of history. Very cool. Um, the Royal Blood. Um, started reading this, but sort of give up on it. Uh, the Shining Man, I'm currently reading at this current moment in time and I'm loving it. And uh, yeah, fantastic book so far. Diamond Dogs and Plague City. Lovely Tales of Trenzalor. Um, some great little short stories within it. Um, especially love the crinoid one, it explains how the Doctor got his walking stick. And of course, we do have Engines of War. Fantastic book, I highly recommend this book. It's a strong 9 out of 10 for me, it's a brilliant book. And I did review it back in 2014. Uh, yeah. Very good book indeed, that is. Now on to the paperbacks of some of the BBC books I've got. We've got The Art of Destruction, The Price of Paradise, Sting of the Zygons, really did enjoy that one, Last of the Dodo, Wooden Heart, Forever Autumn, which is quite battered, but absolutely love the story, Sick Building, Wet World, Wishing Well, Pirate Loop. We have some short stories now. We've got Revenge of the Jadoon. Then we have another Terrence Dix one made of steel, which I enjoyed. Then we have the Sontaran Games. Then we have the Silurian GIF, which um, I really did enjoy. Then we have some uh, little two in one books, what we've got from Doctor Adventures. Uh, we've got System White, and we have Death Riders. So now onto the Target books, I don't have many of these. Um, we have Doctor and the Cybermen, Doctor and the Abominable Snowman, which is a very good Target book, I did enjoy that one. Doctor and the Autumn Invasion, Doctor and the Cave Monsters, fantastic Target book, that is, highly recommend that. Then we have Doctor and the Pyramids of Mars, hardback edition, um, Alan Wingate, and then, uh, yeah, I managed to get this for a fiver at Birmingham Comic Con, so that's an absolute bargain because it is one of the rarest uh, Target books out there. That's really cool to have. And we do have the first ever Doctor Who paperback, um, Doctor Who in an exciting adventure with the Daleks, which is signed by John Pertwee, Colin Baker, and Nicola Bryant. So if you want to see those signatures, check out my autograph collection. There's a cheeky plug. Moving on to Decide Your Destiny books now, um, which were a lot of fun when you were a kid. We have the Spaceship Graveyard, the Alien Arena, the Time Crocodile, the uh, Coriophenia uh, Project, the Crystal Snare, The War of the Robots, Dark Planet, The Haunted Wagon Train, and The Horror of the Howling Hill. Then we move on to the Darksmith Legacy with number one, The Dust of Ages, uh, The Grave of Mordan, The Colours of Darkness, uh, the Depths of Despair, The Vampire of Paris, what a good title that is. Um, then we have The Game of Death, another good title. Then we've got um, two quiz books, we've got quiz book there and quiz book three. And we have this uh, Science of Doctor Who, which I really enjoyed reading. It was a very good book, fascinating. And down that. here we've got some of the complete files, what you used to get, some sort of fact file thing there. We've got K9 there as well, and the Traveller's Alamatic there. And this version here is the complete um, fact files with some bonus fact files in there, um, which were never released singly. And so we have we some go. 50th anniversary reprints, Last of the Gadarene, Festival of Death, a very good paradoxical story by uh, Jonathan Morris, Fear of the Dark, which um, I would like to read because I started reading that, um, Earth World, and Silent Stars Go By, which I'd like to give a go because it's the 11th stop from the Ice Wars, and if you know, I love the 11th Doctor and the Ice Warriors. Now we have some short stories. We've got the 12 Doctors, 12 stories containing uh, the a Big Hand for the Doctor, The Nameless City, uh, The Spear of Destiny, The Roots of Evil, Tip of the Tongue, Something Borrowed, The Ripple Effect, Spore, The Beast of Babylon, The Mystery of the Haunted Cottage, Nothing O'Clock and Lights Out. Then we have In the Blood, fantastic 10th Doctor and Donna book that is, love it. Um, highly recommend. We've got the 12 Doctors of Christmas, which I've read a few stories, and it's got the third Doctor meeting Jackie Tyler, so yeah, that's cool. And we've got Doctor Who Time Trips, 
um, which contains some little short stories and it features a story between Planet of the Spiders episode 6 before the third Doctor regenerates which is very cool and we've got this comic uh, The Only Good Dalek which is a fantastic read great homage to the Dalek master plan. Moving on to the more factual books now we've got Whoology then we've got Doctor Who the episode guide um, yeah I've got two versions of those I think that one there is more updated so we've got the episode guide there Who's Next um, an authorised guide to Doctor Who and the Doctor's Who's Who, so that's a guide on all the actors who played the Doctor, which is kind of outdated now, but uh, yeah, very. I enjoyed reading that back in the day. <laughs> and we have the TARDIS handbook, which I loved reading, and the Dalek handbook. We have another first ever Doctor Who book I got alongside the monster inside. This is my first factual book I got, um, and this was great when you were discovering Doctor Who because it has a fact file and the Daleks' appearance with Cybermen, and uh, yeah, it was great, and my real sort of way to start exploring classic who that was and uh, I just love that book it's very special but aliens and enemies again this was a great guide um, to uh, who and I remember taking it to school you know taking one of your books to school um, and it was great We've got creatures and demons I took camping on a school trip I read that before I went to sleep and uh, yeah love that and then we've got space uh, spaceships and space stations then we've got companions and allies we have the doctor and his lives and times We've got the, a history of the universe and a hundred objects, which is brilliant. It's got some uh, great artwork within it. Just absolutely love that book. Then we've got a random Ape Doctor comic graphic novel collection, End Game, the first Ape Doctor comics. And then we've got The Vault, which of course is signed by many Doctor actors, if you want to see that. Again, check out my other random collection. book on David Tennant there. We've got I Am The Doctor, an authorised diary of uh, Doctor Who there, which is very nice. Contains some nice artwork. Within it we've got a The Writer's Tale, very good book, really did enjoy that. Then we've got Space Travels which is a sort of interactive book with some pop-ups um, within it um, alongside uh, Time Travels, again another interactive book they did back in the day. Moving on to some go. of the annuals now, we've got the brilliant book of 2011, very good, Insight to Series 5, the official annual 2011, 2010. 2009, 2008, and then we've got 2007 there, and then we've got the storybook 2007 and 2008 there, and the Dalek pop up model kit. So we have nice. the 1975 annual, the first um, classic Doctor Who annual I got of the third Doctor, then we've got 1974, 73, and one of my prized possessions, the 1971 Doctor Who annual. Isn't it gorgeous? Moving on to autobiographies, we've got Peter Davison, which is a very good read, and he's just brutally honest, which I like, um, which is great. Who on earth is Tom Baker? Absolutely fascinating read, a lot of funny stories because, of course, it's Tom Baker. Then we have I Am the Doctor, John Pertwee's final memoir, um, which covers Doctor in the Words of Gummidge Years. Very brilliant read, and it's quite a sad book. And um, we have Moon Boots and Dinner Suits, the original one which does have a few special um, things like John Pertwee's uh, memorial thing with inside it um, which is great there we go there it is um, signed by Caroline John and uh, yeah it's a very interesting book some very fascinating stories from John's Navy um, life in the early stage of his career so yeah very good book that is one of my favorites in uh, my bible then we have John Pertwee, the biography. Some Doctor Who novellas. We've got Eye of the Tiger, the deluxe edition, which is signed. Night Dreamers, because I would like to get all the third Doctor books, eventually original fiction. And we do have Operation Hate by uh, Richard Franklin, which is uh, signed, which is very nice. So there we go. We do have the Target book covering the history of the Target Now we do books. have some of the complete history books. We've got Day of the Doctor and the Time of the Doctor. Uh, Rings of Akaten, Cold War, Hyde and the Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS. I'm slowly getting through these because I would like to get all of them eventually. Then we've got Time of Angels, Flesh and Stone, Vampires of Venice, Amy's Choice. Then we've got uh, Impossible Planet, Saint and Pit, Love and Monsters, Fear Her, Army of Ghosts slash Doomsday. School Reunion, Girl in the Fireplace, Rise of Cybermen, Age of Steel and the Idiot's Lantern. Then we've got Christmas Invasion, New Earth and Tooth and Claw. And I've got to admit, I absolutely love the complete history. Such fascinating things. They cover the merchandise. Uh, then that, this is Aliens of London, World War Three, Dalek, Long Game, and Father's Day. Then we've got Rose, uh, End of the World, and the Unquiet Dead. Then we have 
Castrovalva, Fort of Doomsday and Kinder. So continuing the complete history, we've got Power Kroll, Armageddon Factor and Destiny of the Daleks 2. Um, I love all three of those stories, I love them all, um, surprisingly. Then we have um, The Deadly Assassin, The Face of Evil, Robots of Death and Talons of Wang Chiang. Then we've got uh, Planet of Evil, Pyramids of Mars, Android Invasion and The Brain of Morbius. Then we have Genesis of the Daleks, Revenge of the Cybermen and Terror of the Zygons. Then we've got Robot, Ark in Space and the Sontar Experiment. Then we have Planet of the Daleks, Green Death and the Time Warrior. Then we have The Three Doctors, Carnival of Monsters and Frontier in Space. Then we have Colony in Space, The Daemons and Day of the Daleks. And we have Spared from Space, Doctor in the Silurians and the Ambassadors. Moving on we have the Mind Robber, the Invasion and the Crotons. Then we have Abominable Snowmen, Ice Warriors, Enemy of the World and the Web of Fear. Then we have Power of the Daleks, the Highlanders, Underwater Menace and the Moonbase. Then we have the Savages, the War Machines, the Smugglers and the Tenth Planet. We have uh, Edge of Destruction even though it says inside the spaceship, Marco Polo, the Keys of Marinus and the Aztecs. Then we have um, The Unearthly Child and the Mutants. Um, there we go. So that's the book collection done for this year. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one, uh, which will probably be a review. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the book collection.